This video is on slope-intercept form. We are going to write the equation of the line knowing what the slope and the y-intercept is. If we know what the slope and the y-intercept is, we can put it into the equation of y equals mx plus b, where your m, the coefficient of x, represents your slope and the b, the constant of the equation, represents your y-intercept. Then we're going to graph the lines. What is the equation of each line? We're given m is equal to negative 1 half and the y-intercept is 0 comma 3. Our numbers that we are using here are m equals negative 1 half and b is equal to the y-intercept, so the y-value of your y-intercept which is 3. So to write our equation, it is y equals the coefficient of negative 1 half times the x, and then our constant of a positive 3, so we put plus 3. To graph this, what we do is graph the coordinate that we have of 0, 3 first. Graph 0, 3. On the x is 0, so I did not move left or right. And we count up to positive 3 because on the y-axis, that's our coordinate of 0, 3. Our slope means change in y over change in x. So we can write this as change in y is a negative 1 over a change in x, which is a positive 2. This can also be written as a change in y as a positive 1 divided by a change in x of a negative 2. Both of these, negative divided by positive and a positive divided by negative, equal to a negative value. So both of these are equivalent to a negative one half. So when we graph this, if we do a change in y of negative one, that means that we decrease the y-axis by one, but a positive two in the x-axis means we go to the right two, and we have this plot of a point. We can do this again until we run out of room. So we're going to change in y by decreasing by one, and change in x by increasing by two on the x-axis. I cannot go any further to the right on the x, so I'm going to go back to my original coordinate. I'm going to use the other one, which is change in y of a positive 1 and change in x of a negative 2. So I'm going to increase my y's by 1 and then decrease my x's by 2, so that means go to the left 2. I'm going to do it again, so I'm going to increase by 1 on the y's and decrease by 2 on the, left, on the x's, which is left. I have as many coordinates as I could potentially plot. So now I'm going to graph this line by connecting all of my points as straight as possible. And I will add arrows to the end of this because I know that my graph will continue to go on forever. This is how we use the slope and the y-intercept to graph our line. Part B is the same, same type of problem. Our m, our slope, is equal to a positive 3, and our b is equal to the y value of our y-intercept, which is negative 2. So our equation is y equals, we need the slope, the coefficient of x, so it would be 3 times x, and then our constant of negative b, so it'll be a minus 2. So our equation is y equals 3x minus 2. The first coordinate we're going to graph is our y-intercept of 0, negative 2. It's on the y-axis at a negative 2, so I do not move left or right. I move down to negative 2. It's our first coordinate. Now we use our slope from this coordinate. And again, slope is change in y over change in x. This means that we have a positive 3 over a positive 1, because 3 divided by 1 is still 3. However, a positive divided by positive gives us a positive, but so does a negative divided by a negative. A negative 3 divided by a negative 1 will also give us a positive 3. This will help us so that we can go in all directions that are possible. So at first I'm going to use the positive 3 over positive 1. That means I'm going to change my y values by a positive 3. So I'm going to increase by positive 3. So 1, 2, 3. Then I'm going to increase my x's by a positive 1. So I'm going to go to the right 1. Plot a point. I'm going to do that again. From that point, I'm going to change my y's by positive 3, so 1, 2, 3, and change my x's by a positive 1, so go to the right 1. I cannot go any further up or I'll be off the graph, so I'm going to go back to my y-intercept, 
I'm going to go in the opposite direction, which is that negative 3 divided by negative 1. So I'm going to change my y's by going negative 3, so down 3, 1, 2, 3, and change my x's by decreasing by 1, so go left 1. I can see that if I were to connect my dots, I will have a line, so that means that I did my slope in the correct fashion. This is a positive slope because it rises from left to right, it rises from left to right. So I'm going to connect my dots in as straight as possible. I'll put arrows on the end of this. It's not perfectly straight, but when you're drawing, things aren't always perfectly straight. This does show a positive slope because it rises from left to right. The first question had a negative slope, and it falls from left to right. It is going down, decreasing as you read it from left to right. The last example on here has the slope of 0, so m equals 0, and our y-intercept is y, sorry, the b value is the y value of our y-intercept, which is 4. So if we were to write this equation, it would be y equals 0x plus 4. Now 0 times x is 0. That means that we have 0 slope, so we would rewrite this as y equals 4. This, if we recall, means that it is a horizontal line. This is that special type, a horizontal line. That means that it will not rise, it will only run to the left and right. So we go to that first coordinate of 0, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and it is a horizontal line. All of the coordinates that we want to graph must have a coordinate of 4 in their y value. So any coordinate, that means that we can have the coordinate of 1 comma 4, 3 comma 4, negative 4 comma 4. As long as all of the y values are equal to 4, we can have all those. So that's 1 comma 4. This is 3 comma 4. This is negative 4 comma 4. And we want to connect all of these dots and show that this is a horizontal line. We're going to put the arrows on the end to show that it does continue on. So if we have the slope and the y-intercept, we can write the equation in slope-intercept form. Then we can graph them by plotting the y-intercept first and then using our change in y, then our change in x to plot new coordinates to connect all of our coordinates.